To get to the discotheque, we need to take the five-at-a-time tunnel. Each time we reach a junction, we need to select the tunnel that skips five numbers at a time. So let's stop, count five more numbers, and up we go again. Of course, there will be viruses along the way, and to make them disappear, all we need to do is aim and fire. Remember to select every fifth number only. Yeah, this is a, a, a different minigame, that's not uh, one that you can select from the minigame menu. You have to choose the correct tunnel to get to the discotheque, to get to, to our next minigame, which involves those fucking canisters. And every time you get to this point, a new stipulation is generated for you. Last time I had... Uh, I had these tunnels show up when I was playtesting, I was told that I need to select every tunnel that has the number that's a hundred less than the last number. So, first we start with 5, then we start with 10, 15, 20, and you're there. Commando Alpha, you've reached the sound card. This is where it gets a little complicated. Yes. I guess. <laughs> nice demo, though. The viruses are attacking the sound card. On each virus, there is a math exercise. Yeah, that's the demo from there on. Now we have ourselves probably the most fun uh, minigame to do. On hard mode, of course, then you do it separately from the minigame menu. You choose the canister that corresponds to the correct answer on the virus's body. So if it says 1 times 10, you take the 10, you, you get spraying. Of course, now it doesn't get too complicated, but all of the exercises will be multiplication. So that can throw you off our loop. On easy mode, it's all plus and minus, so it's really easy stuff. But here, this is where it's gonna test your multiplication table. But it's a very basic one, because there's only 1 to 10 canisters. I don't see why they couldn't take 10 to 100, actually. Every second round is colors, again. Not entirely sure why, because these are like the easiest things to do. Of course, every time you spray the viruses with the, with the correct canister, they make a little animation and a little noise to indicate that they did die. Same happens if you get the, the wrong canister. Of course, you do not want to get the wrong canister going, because then you lose some of the spray permanently. Run out of one type of spray and you're boned. Forced to go from the start. Not entirely sure what's up with some of these animations, I gotta say. Because we are fucking demented sometimes. Like with these type of guys, you can sometimes get them to shoot themselves. <laughs> Not sure why. Oh, you can also spray this guy here with, with the pesticides if you feel like it but all you'll get is uh, a coughing fit from him as a response he's not gonna talk with you until you're done and it's probably better if he doesn't talk because he talks like a very cringy person who you do not wish to meet ever in life <laughs> you'll see what I mean once you get to that point I imagine the main campaign will take a lot less time to go through, so we'll have to pick up the minigames as well to test our capabilities. Some would say that the sequel to this, which is called Math Attack, is actually better, but I don't know. Not too sure yet. We'll find that soon enough, I suppose. Would you be surprised to know that they're already pretty much at the end game? <laughs> this game is pretty short when you just go for the campaign, even on hard mode. <laughs> wow! <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh yeah, try not to get swarmed by the viruses, because then it gets pretty difficult to get the exact one that you want to aim for. 
Plus, if they swarm too much, well, you automatically lose. So that's a problem. Good music, though. As you would expect from a fucking sound card. But there you go. You win, and then this happens. He becomes unenjoyable as fuck. In fact, he looks fucking weird. Put that down. The power is out, it's the viruses to blame. They've caused a power shortage. What a shame. So get there quick and sort out the mess. Those viruses are putting you to the test. From now on, there'll be no light along the way. So be careful not to fall into a hole as you play. Those mean old viruses will attack, you know. So shoot them quick before they grow. Uh, I wish we would stop doing both kind of dialogues. But now we're in another tunnel section, which is not as difficult as you'd think it is. You have shapes flying in in the view at a fairly slow rate. And since this is hard mode, you have to choose the corresponding number. In this case, you have to choose the correct number of sides that this shape has. In the easier difficulties, you get to choose, well, the shape itself. Like, I know in easy mode, you have three buttons, and they all have uh, shapes printed on them. So it's pretty much simple stuff. You see a triangle, you hit the triangle. In this case, we have four buttons, and they're all numbers. Numbers of sides of the shape that you're about to shoot down. I'm going at medium speed to make sure that they don't suddenly explode on my screen because if you go at fast speed sometimes the viruses show up at a very fast speed it's pretty much impossible to hit them at that point in fact I had a case where we just immediately spawned in front of me so there wasn't much that I could do about it Not entirely sure why they decided to shape themselves as common shapes, but whatever. One of the easiest minigames, I would say. Even on hard mode, it's nothing special. This is so hard. <laughs> Alpha Commando, you didn't let me down. You move with the speed of a cheetah, and you're doing great. Now all we need to do is sort out the computer generator and restore the electricity. Put the pink square to the right of the red square. Now we get to the power generator minigame, which is basically Simon Says, in a way. You have Gordy telling you the instructions of what you're supposed to take and where are you supposed to put it. You're supposed to make a pattern which will then turn the power back on obviously. If you forgot what he said, pull the red lever. That's not a power lever. lever. That's just uh, there to repeat what he said. We were told to take the pink square and put it to the right of the red square. Put the red square under the pink rectangle. Now here's the thing though. It's impossible to fuck this game up. I guess you lose only if you take too long. Because if you take the the item you're supposed to take and try to put it somewhere where it doesn't belong. Put the red square under the pink rectangle. You just get some bullshit. Some some strange sound effect and then the instructions are repeated. Put the yellow triangle to the left of the blue square. It's very simple. You can't possibly fuck this up unless you have difficulty comprehending English, in which case, try the lessons. Wait, didn't say circle? Put the yellow triangle to the left of the blue square. Oi, to the left, not to the right, my mistake. Put the yellow square to the right of the blue square. You know, the odd thing about this video game is that the instructions feel like they are patched and cut up and put together from different sources so they always come off odd 
And because of that, I kind of tend to forget them a lot easier than anything else that is said in this game. I don't know why. Is it just me? Put the green circle under the blue square. Put the yellow rectangle to the left of the blue rectangle. Put the green triangle to the right of the green square. Put the red semicircle under the blue rectangle. Basically, the idea here is that you're making some sort of a pattern or maybe a simple picture, which will turn on the power. You took out almost all of the viruses. To take care of the few remaining ones, lead them to Mr. Delete so that he can erase them. Hurry! The viruses could grow in number again. <laughs> what kind of thing is that, Mr. Delete? <laughs> Hello, Alpha Commando. You managed to reach me. I am Mr. Delete. I live here, and my job is to delete all the trash in the computer. The viruses will be coming soon, and it's you and me against them. This is the last fight. A showdown. Already. Here come this is a very simple minigame. You can't possibly fuck this up unless you're very bad at math or bad at timing. Basically, the idea here is that you're... Trying to eat the viruses before we get to the right side of the screen. And that is very simple to do. You just need to add up to the number that the virus is sitting on and then jump on his ass. Maybe a bit difficult to do with the keyboard, so if that doesn't work for you, try the mouse. Make sure that you don't get caught all the way on the right side when the platforms decide to shift, because then you'll fall off. Oh shit. The problem that I have with this minigame is that the platforms tend to shift at the most unpredictable of times. Ooh, that virus was salty. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> But yeah, they tend to shift at the worst of times, and whenever you want to click on something, it instead clicks on something else. Like if I want to click on 8, it would have switched to 7 now, and I would have hit 7. And I don't want 7. I wanted 8. This is... Well, it's a very easy minigame. That's all I can say. The only problem that you may encounter with this is that... Uh, well, you might have a bit of difficulty getting the numbers in time. Because you don't get a lot to work with, so you need to know how to add up and subtract certain numbers to get certain results. You can only do it so much though. As soon as you hit that equal sign, which I think is about 5 or 6 numbers, that's it for you. Uh, sort of. The equation monitor gets reset. So you'll have to get the numbers again, wasting time. So, do yourself a favor, and don't do that. <laughs> well, this is a problem. This is a problem now. Get over there, bitch! He's gonna get killed, I think. Yes. <laughs> We need to begin again. Fucking knew it. Well, either way, it would have been a foul. But I think if you let one through, it's alright. So I probably should have just done that. <laughs> Still, it was pretty funny to listen to him screech. It kind of sounds like uh, falling to your death in Dark Souls 3, in a way. I really don't like this minigame. It takes way too long to finish, and it's just not that interesting. I like the other ones better. I'm not entirely sure when this fucking minigame ends. It just ends after a little while. I think... Could this work? Oh, it did. Perfect. It's much easier to avoid platforms shifting on you for no good reason. Oh, fuck. 
if you use the keyboard, if you use the arrow keys to move, but I find that to be somewhat unreliable. I'd rather just use the mouse for this one. We took on all the viruses and it was tough, but hey, 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 we did it! Now we all feel good. No one comes to me in a bad mood. The sound card, he feels no pain. And that's my man. You did it once again. Oh no. Oh yeah. Hey you guys, hear me sing. Tra la 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 la. My health is back and I feel good. Huh? <laughs> no more viruses remain. Tra la la. I feel no pain. Awesome. I can sing again. Commando Alpha. Those viruses are gone. What is going on in here? You might be wondering. Well, I'll tell you. It's the outro. We have, we have won the game. That was pretty quick, wasn't it? <sighs> but this fucking outro, man, fuck me. The worst fucking part of this game. The outro. <laughs> they could have at least gotten new animations for these bastards. But no, they, they just recycled the animations for this. Which is okay, I suppose, but that antivirus police guy looks... I'm sorry, but he just looks like a faggot. But what about Pyder? What became of him? This is Pyder speaking, king of the viruses. Maybe you got us this time, but I'll be back! <laughs> Alright. The computer is all fixed up. Yes! We've got some terrific games here. If you want to play them, set a new record, or discover new surprises, then you're welcome to play. Click on one of the options. Was that Shade Draft of Angels on the monitor? I hope it's not. Because <laughs> that was a pretty bad choice of games. I don't really know what that game is, though. Looks suspicious. But it doesn't matter, because now that we have completed the game, officially, Let's go to the minigames.